that people are always on the wrong side of the law. And let's begin the language that is about encouraging creativity, encouraging enterprise, encouraging hard work. Simple algorithm because a great deal of, of life's problems is really ourselves, not, not by any great genius, but that people are prepared to actually work hard. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about making examples of successes in our country. The Ghanaians who <coughs> succeed, people recognize them, whether they're in the world of business, in the arts, in the professions, whichever way it is, and say, yes, these are the role models we're after. We're after a Ghana whereby somebody can become a Kwabna Daku. That's the Ghana we're after. The way after a Ghana where somebody can be brilliant communications uh, minister. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I, I say it, I say it with a boy in all I mean, we, we are on different sides, but I recognize the skills and the abilities. Let's look at a place whereby we are saying to ourselves as a nation, we are going to encourage the best. We're going to make sure that those who have the ability, who have the opportunity, do what, as much as they can for this country. And not and leave behind. This language, which has that some people are the only people of integrity in this country, only one party has men of integrity, and everybody else, somebody you don't know, you met four years ago, is the only person who has, is a man of integrity in our country, everybody else is a crook or a thief. That language has been extremely damaging you, you to our country. You call country. yourselves men of integrity, <laughs> no. I mean. No, no, no. no, but we're not, we're not involved in that language. Yeah. We're, we're, inter we're interested yeah. in performance. Yeah. 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 We're interested mm. in the people who mm. can perform. Mm. And what we are saying mm. is that when we come, because I think it will be not a question, as Johnny said, of if. I think it is when we come, which will be clear on the 28th of December. You are going to see a new tenor in the public discourse of our country. Because our thing is going to be about all Ghanaians who can assist in pushing and the, the Ghanaian ship through oh. these turbulent seas, that person is welcome on board the MPP bandwagon. Just That's like the it. language. Mm -hmm. And we're no longer going to have the language of, of thieves, of that people, mm -hmm. people no, are corrupt. Yeah, this, no, no, which no, is no, the no. language we've heard in Rawlins this time. Yeah. As, if, yeah. as if somehow or other, people, he, people, I, I want, people I, I want are doing to, business. I want, I want you to respond people to are that. doing business in this country. They don't have a problem with the environment. They are doing business. They are uh, reaping on their investments. and the, isn't a problem. It's unfortunate to use this to try to create an impression that the business community in this country is living in terror of government and all that. That certainly is not true. Businesses have grown under this government, probably far more uh, under this government than in the uh, history of this country. A lot of businesses are thriving. Ghanaians, Ghanaians are doing well. You and can't see it grow much more than an, an NPP government, can you? Not necessarily. That's what you're saying. Yeah, well, I think, that, I think that this government has done well and that we have set the stage for moving into an accelerated uh, growth yeah. of the private sector. Perhaps these are personal positions. You know, in, in a sense, I mean, like the examples you gave, these are, honestly speaking, things that the president has said. Does that, does, does the party distance itself from that kind of position? Perhaps that's not the position of a party or of a mills. Well, um, <clears throat> I, I don't like the statements of a balloon to indicate that because the president said that, the business community is living in fear. That's the impression that Ado is trying to create. Unfortunately, that is not, uh, fortunately, that is not the situation. Business is growing. We have come from a certain period, you know, coming from the PNDC era, you know, into the democratic uh, uh, period. We started an experiment in democracy again. Everybody has been learning since then. You cannot take certain statements that were made in a certain period, in a certain context, and use them to characterize the history of uh, the country since then till now. I think that is wrong. 